launch this here. Cool. Actually, let me bring my face to the left. Now I receive these back to back and it's going to be the same comment in terms of uh, presentation. It's not too bad seeing it from this angle given that we have multiple um, different balls here. But what I would do is I would still have an orthographic side and then present these uh, like one by one. You just go one and then the next one and the next one and the next one. It's, it's fun to see them all together. But in terms of uh, being able to critique them, I would prefer to have these all separately. And you can do one long clip where the first one comes in, you know, cut out. Second one comes in, third one, blah, 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 blah. That's no problem. And looking at what they are doing. A bit of an evenness and a bit of a slowdown almost in the towards the end here on the bowling ball. And it feels like there's a slight curve out this way. So watch out for that. I really want to make sure that this, uh, everything has a bit of an arc and it really accelerates because it's super heavy. And then you got like one and a tiny bounce at the end and you got your potential going a bit high on that first one, but it's not too shabby, but I would probably go a bit lower and a and half of that on the second one because you're only having a one frame up one frame down it will feel very poppy it's not super bad i think it's it's almost there but i would reduce the height first one by like 20 percent and the, and the second one by like 10 15. i know this is extremely picky but just so you have that not that strobe effect and it comes to a very sudden stop you might have to reduce the overall translate forward so it just doesn't roll as strongly. But if you keep that speed right now, it would have to roll just a bit longer and come to a stop. This one, um, for all of them, since oh, all of them, for the ones that have textures, you're going to have to introduce the roll or just turn the textures off if you want. Same thing with this that we talked before, the stretch will have to go towards the point of impact or from where it came from, stretching this way, stretching more this way. But there's something, and again, this might just be the angle, but there's an ever so slight feeling of, of the distance increasing. But it might just be the angle. It's mo mainly through here compared to the rest. But same thing as before, the impacts are a bit too strobe, too fast. So I would lessen the height and maybe give them a frame or two more. Just a bit more. Dung, 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 and that's it. And you don't have that. Dung, 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 that'll, you know, end strobe. Now, this one and the basketball are fairly similar. I'm, I would love to hear from you what you're looking for, like all of these, they're kind of the same realm, same realm in terms of how balls are. Now, I do, I mean, I'm not sure how much different they are from the bounciness. Probably, I don't know. I'm going to confess complete ignorance. Uh, the bounciness between a soccer ball and a basketball, I would feel like this would be bouncier than a ball than a basket uh, than a soccer ball also soccer ball is not smaller than a basketball it's a little bit and I'm not quite sure what this is it's just any other type set of volleyball the main thing is that this one just feels a bit slow in its drop they're gonna to me they're gonna be fairly similar so it's interesting to see them with such a delay because the bounciness on like the middle one feels dum, 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 dum. It has the same strobeness towards the end feels fairly similar than the other ones but at the very beginning there's quite the drag where this feels too slow the middle one the soccer ball is a bit better i kind of prefer the basketball the most which is interesting that there's slight differences but i don't mind them being slightly different but i would just watch out that on the drop they don't feel slow and draggy and then the, watch out for the strobiness on the on the last ones 
This being a beach ball, it's going to be much slower. It's going to be... You know what I mean? It's going to be that last one that bounces around. And right now, it has a bit too much of a squash and, uh, and a stretch. It's just... It's such a light, air-filled ball that it's going to have a slight squash. It's But it's going to be much lighter. This is a... A kind of a mix between a, a beach ball and and the basketball almost. You I mean like where you have the size and weight of it, but then we want it to be much much lighter. So I will really push that a bit more. The strobiness on on the I would assume it's a tennis ball is not as bad. It's much better, but there's still enough energy there to have one more tiny bounce at the end and I think you are just a bit too fast or too high like basically you can take the the height of all of the the tennis balls and go down 20% and I think your speed will be better because you are fairly strong in your squash and stretch at the heights of this but it feels the most cartoony which is it's cute like there's a certain energy to that little ball but then again, I mean, my question to you is like, how how accurate do you want it, this to be? Like, you want this to be really? Let's just go for physics. And I know we're pushing the squash and stretch, so we're kind of beyond the physics there. But I would still push this to be a bit more real in terms of a uh, a beach ball, a very really big airfield filled ball. And I think the thing that sometimes happens with bouncing balls is that, like for this, and I know we're running kind of out of space, but you could start further back. Where the there's a lot of up and down, but the forward momentum is too small. Where you know, I mean, not to say that I can drop from really high up and do this, but there's something about this in terms of the energy and the and the force of the up and down. Where I feel like we just want to go further back and have just a bit more forward momentum. But I mean, I understand that you want to keep this within this section, but feel free to start a bit further back and then really give this enough room. This one is really enough, a lot more time. Watch out for the roll that this doesn't just abruptly stop. You know, even if you look at these, they're kind of coming to an end pretty much at the same time, despite such a difference at the beginning and that offset and then the weight of it. So just kind of watch out for little details like that. And then uh, you want to start with the rotations as well, since you do have textures there. Alrighty. Um, and for the next one, I would love a side view. You can always have that somewhere in the corner and then you can have the side view one by one if you want. Totally up to you. Let's email. We can discuss things, how you would prefer this, uh, how you prefer to learn and all that. All right, and that's it from me. Thank you. All right, there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.